<laughs> Hello. Oh, look how sweet you are. Oh my god, you're so soft. Hey, little puppy. Hey. He's like, oh, what is this? So it's your neighbour's dog. Yeah. Oh, the, so cute. the perks of living in the uh, townhouse complex. <laughs> Two dollars. <laughs> this is ours to share, don't try framing me. You sound this that's America thing. Don't try framing me, boy. <laughs> what are we doing this afternoon? We're just here for a cheeky Nando's. No, we already had a Nando's here in the you guys may or may not know about that, but you would if you follow my Instagram. Why are you not following it? We're nearly a 100k team, that's mental. We went to one in Perth, but it was it was so terrible. Like it was, it was like, uh, I would consider myself and Jazz a Nando connoisseurs, you know? And honestly, we've heard how bad Nando's is over here and we didn't believe the hype because we love it too much. It's like having a child and people saying it's ugly. You're always gonna love it. The voice actually said this one's good, so uh, we're gonna give it a second try. It's like me in the open this year. Hello, darkness. Always doing it twice. Interior looks pretty much the same. Oh, they're very hot. Hey, look at this team, it's called a bush turkey. It's a free roaming turkey. Oh, it's a lizard, whoa, look how big that lizard is. What the hell is that? That's huge. Oh, it just made me crap myself. Is it, does it attack? What do you mean, it do, are, you, are you sure? Here we have a bush turkey and a lizard. Hey, look who's back. And overnight, overnight you became a mayhem athlete. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what happened, one training session and... <laughs> I'm an athlete. Look at it just sat. Oh, just want to give it a cuddle. Oh. It reminds me of you. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Oh my god. It's like me after this morning with Mumwala. <laughs> oh my god. Don't. Look at the size of their feet. It's like an actual. Oh, it's looking at me. Oh my god. Strongest man in CrossFit versus an emu. There's that video of the kid just being chased by chickens. Yeah. He's got the feed bag and the chickens oh. are like all just after him in this yard. In there. The collective noun for a, for a group of kangaroos is a mob. Hello, Papa. You want some food? Oh, look. Look, I'm feeding a kangaroo. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's a miniature one, Jazz. It's a little tiny one. Are you having a good time? Hey, like a yeah, I'm having a great time. You're actually striking a kangaroo. No. This right here is apparently an Australian delicacy. Ice cream and you smash it up with other stuff. It's gonna be quality. Do you guys want lids or are you just eating them now? My milkshake is life. I need to look. Wow, that's love. What happened? Very lucky. Um, <laughs> Laurie left her phone on top of the car when she put Jack in the car from the ice cream place and luckily <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> from Cold Rock? Yeah. Oh my god. Turn and then up and up. Are you serious? Yeah. You're actually reading the instructions. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what. Blame it on the rain. How many games does it take to build a, to build a How many games does it take? We'll leave one more. Oh no, Royce has lost his top again. <laughs> well, I got some lightning. Look, Jazz is our first tropical storm. I know. Oh, there's loads of lightning. Yeah. And a team, welcome to Tim and Hugh down under. <laughs> Terrible storm. Wow. Oh, 
It's huge lightning. If I stick my hand out into the open, it's definitely yeah. raining. Oh, the little piece inside the big one. One, two, three. Just to put the little little piece inside the big one so it can't go too. Yeah, they put they put together this uh, rig and realized that it wouldn't stand up in the gym. Ten minutes later, Swanee's also lost his t-shirt. Tonight, we're training in the garage. We're just going to do something really quick and really short. Swanee is the Torian Pro Champion. Royce is a games athlete. Royce was a Torian Pro Champion. Swanee was a games athlete. Yeah. yeah. Things just swapped around. Is this the first partner wad you've done first, in this? First group wad, yeah. First group wad you've done in this, this garage session. gym, home garage gym. First I feel like we're breaking in and we're making a momentous occasion. Definitely. Three guys just breathing heavily, awkwardly, in silence. That's how we do it. Topless. Sweating. Uh, squad training. Yeah, sick. <laughs> da, 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 da. The news. Woohoo! We love the news. We love the news. Yeah, again, you're probably wondering where I am. <laughs> oh. Like, what is this? I can't wait to show you the vlog. It's gonna be coming in about six or seven vlogs time. You'll get the full tour of this place. Incredible, building the hype. Basically, I've been like recording vlogs as I've gone along the Australia trip, and then I've wanted to talk about things, but at the time when we're hanging out with people, I don't really get to talk about it, so when I get time to talk about it, I'm usually somewhere else. Me and this pineapple here are gonna do the news. Oh, hello, look at this. What a lovely pair of pineapples. I can give you a clue. We're definitely not in England. Before we get into the main topic of what I wanted to talk about today, did anyone see this cat on Instagram for CrossFit? So basically, a CrossFit box has now been opened. So you get your level one, that's what you gotta go and do if you wanna really open up a box and own a box. Get your level one, and then you open up a box and a cat's done it. Here it is, high five in some of the members pre-workout. <laughs> Imagine having that cat as your coach. Best video you've ever seen. Jazz wants one of those cats. Apparently in the classes there's been loads of pause reps. Apparently people keep dying after workouts but they've got nine lives. And instead of puking in that box, they cough up fur balls. God, thinking of these things on the spot is hard. In other news this year, Jason Kalipa has been caught and snapped paparazzi recording his Christmas album. It's called Jingle Barbells. And recently, over the last couple of days, Matt Fraser visited the Nike HQ and presented some awards within an award ceremony that they had, but the pictures kind of looked like he was on a TV show, like Stars in Their Eyes or something. Tonight, I'm gonna be Matt Fraser. I would love to know how good it feels to be that fit. Also, it kind of looks like he's on stage at a pantomime, something like that, you know, Christmas pantomime. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't get the purple memo. Oh yeah, and if you didn't think Australia and animals could get any cuter than the last couple of minutes that you've been watching the vlog, here's an actual video of a koala chewing. Look how happy he looks. You know when people are happy when they eat when they chew with their head up? And if you want a good meme over the last couple of days, make what's great again. People think I own that page, I definitely don't. I just like it, I like following it. If you don't follow it, why aren't you following it? But they put out uh, How to Catch CrossFit. <laughs> but anyway, on to today's main news, what I wanted to talk about, you know, like if you watched yesterday's vlog, we got to hang out with Mumwala, super cool dude. We did like 20 minutes, we just talked everything kind of CrossFit, we did some lifting at the same time. Got some cool stories from the games. Real chill, but he brought up a great point about him going as a team and Royce Dunn, who went to the games this year as well, he's going as team. There's a video coming up that you're gonna watch with Khan Porter, we spoke to him, but apparently he's gonna go team. If you don't wanna miss any of the upcoming vlogs, please do hit that subscribe button, it means a lot. And turn on the notifications, it's like a little bell. So she said. But anyway, it got me thinking about the point of games athletes that maybe aren't going to be in the top 10 or aren't confident enough to be, maybe be in the top 10 after the first couple of days at the CrossFit Games when they axe the field, being super epic in the team division. Then that got me thinking, are Mayhem safe this year? This year's team Mayhem is gonna be made up of Rich Froning, Kristen Miller, Dre Strom, and Tasia. My pronunciation is terrible. I don't even wanna have a go at that. CrossFit Mayhem, as we know, 
they have dominated the scene of the teams over the last four years, winning three of the last four years. 2017, they had a little bit of a slip up, finishing second. Everyone kind of remembers the photo where Rich Froning wasn't smiling. I don't think I would be either. But this year, I think it's gonna be a lot different. The first time we're gonna see Mayhem in action this year is at the Wadapalooza. They have a team of four there, basic. It looks like at most competitions this year, the elite teams is only gonna be 10 of them at each one of the sanctioned events. And then out of that, one is gonna qualify for the games. Qualification for the games this year isn't gonna be that easy for Mayhem or any other team. If you actually take a look at the lineup for the Wadapalooza, <laughs> Team Invictus has Rasmus Anderson, Tommy Venus, Lauren Fisher, and Regan Huckabee, all previous games athletes. Invictus X has Sam Dancer, Gem Dancer. Ultra Plus has Nick Yuranka, Travis Williams, Camille LeBlanc Bazinet, and Thury Helgadar, all games athletes. Team Misfits has people like China Cho in it. There's an unnamed team, but made up of Cody Mooney, Alex Smith, Jessica Griffith, and Jamie Green. Another unnamed team with Tim Paulson, Carm Porter, Meg Reardon, and Christian Best. In that lineup, the amount of individual games athletes is incredible. There are teams made up of just individual games athletes. We are talking some of the best individual CrossFit games athletes the world has to offer, the top 40, and they are now joining together to make these super teams. Now, are they going to knock Mayhem Freedom out of a qualifying spot? Possibly. I think only 10 teams go to the games, so even if Mayhem make it to the games, so even if they make it to the games, they may be up against nine other teams of previous individual games athletes. Quickly moving away from the Waterpalooza, if you're looking at the Dubai Fitness Championships and some of the individual CrossFit Games athletes' names that are in the teams, you have Cassidy Lank McQuaith, McQuaith, Jen Smith, Adrian Munwiler, Lucas Esslinger. What are you laughing at me for? I can't say her name. It's just a little bit mental. The one thing though that Mayhem do have that all of these other teams don't is the years of experience working together. The understanding that teams have when they work together for such a long time is invaluable when it comes to team comp competitions. And you don't you don't just build that over a day. Also, you can never count out a team that has Rich Froning in it. But if we go on last year's open scores and you look at Team Mayhem, that open scores speak for themselves. Every one of Team Mayhem finished in or around the top 100. One thing I do know for certain though this year is that the team division is gonna be a hell of a lot more exciting to watch. Over the last couple of years, I think at the games, people have gone to watch the team to watch Rich Froning and Mayhem, whereas now this year, people will go to watch those three or four teams at the top, Invictus and whatever, but at the same time, watch all of these games athletes in these super teams. You know what it comes down to at the end of the day, especially with the caliber of athletes that there are, games athletes are super adaptive. Put them in a team of four, they'll usually do pretty well. If you're a great athlete, you can hold your own, it just may, come down to transitions, make them down to communication errors and make them down to misunderstanding errors of different teammates. But also what I think it comes down to this year is the uncertainty, the lack of the rule book from CrossFit yet. Yeah, I think just more athletes are going team just because they don't know what individual is gonna be like. I think for a lot of games athletes, it's more certain. You're gonna get a full weekend of competition. And for me personally, from com competition side is that like team stuff is more enjoyable, kind of a little bit less pressure. And it may be good for the athletes to have a year out of competing in individual and putting their heart and soul into a team. Also, I think the games this year, if it is cutting down to 10 people at the end of the weekend of male and female and team, we're gonna have the best games experience yet. I think viewing wise, you're just gonna wanna watch every single thing that goes on and they're not gonna clash. Cause this year, sometimes you had to pick between watching the teams or watching the individuals. This year, there'll just be one heat of each event, of each category. So it may be a lot more exciting to watch. I don't know, will Mayhem hold on to the top? Will they even qualify for the games? I, I think so. And they're gonna be a hard team to knock off the top, but this year's gonna be an interesting one. What do you think? Put your comments down below and uh, thank you for tuning in. If you did enjoy it, as always, smash that like button. I can't wait for the next couple of vlogs to be released. We've got so much cool content coming up. And yeah, actually today in Bali, I'm competing. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go get ready for that and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.